Hello everybody and welcome to a new training vlog by myself, Peter from Zoo Spencer. I'm going to talk about something very important and that is the three most important behaviors that you need to be successful in any training program. Now, there's a ton of different things we can train our animals, obviously, but those three we think are the most important ones because when we go to so many different zoological facilities, we think that if they just had these three, then their life would be so much easier. Let us talk about number one. the start of session signal, or the call over, and some of you call it the recall. Basically what we do is we are teaching our animals to come to us. We give them a specific signal, might that be a whistle, might that be their name, might that be anything you want, the animals respond and they come running towards you. This is gonna help you with letting the animals go from one area to the other. Now the most important thing here is actually the timing of your reinforcer. If we want a strong starter session signal, we want to reinforce accordingly. So the best thing to do is when we see the animals come and run to us, you are already throwing your reinforcement at them before they are actually with you because you already had this response that you needed. Pretty important one. But then on top of that, we can't forget that if we are staying at the same position all the time, that the animals are actually connecting the signal plus position to this behavior. Now what we want to think about is that the signal actually means come to the trainer wherever the trainer is. So steps of going to different positions is actually extremely important. And practicing it just once, just before your feeding time, might already be enough as long as you time your reinforcer so well and give it directly all, you're all set with this specific behavior. Then there's number two. Number two is the control behavior. I call it the control behavior, sometimes I call it the default behavior, sometimes I call it the focus behavior, but essentially what it is, is that an animal is with you and stays with you. It's a forgotten behavior often because we think, well, if the animal's there, it's normal, it should stay because I'm fun, because I'm asking behaviors. Hey, you might be right there, but we still have to teach them that if you just stay with me, focus towards me, that you can get a reinforcer for this as well. This is gonna help you for future behaviors. Now, why is this sometimes so hard for animals to do? Well, most animals in the zoological facilities where we work with are animals that put themselves in vulnerable positions while they eat. So what we want to do, we want them to understand that it's safe to be with us and eat with us. Think, for example, about a tiger. A tiger does exactly that. A leopard does exactly that. They take their prey, go to a different spot, eat it on a safe place. Because when they eat, they're vulnerable. 
Same thing for antelopes or fallow deers or any other deer species. Same thing there, but the control behavior, super important. You might be surprised about number three. It's a very easy behavior, but it's worth mentioning because this specific behavior is actually helping you with gating animals, with A to Bs, with separations, all of this, and that is the follow. The follow is a behavior where we ask our animal to focus and then follow me wherever I go to. If that's a group or an individual, it doesn't necessarily matter. We just say, you, follow me. And the animal follows me wherever I go and stops wherever I stop. The reason this behavior is so important is because what I already mentioned, it's going to help your separations. It's going to help your gatings. It's going to help you to move animals from area to area to apply enrichment safely and so on. So there we have it. Your start of session signal, which is the foundation of the emergency recall. So if you trained your start of session signal or call over very strongly, then you have a very good base for your emergency recall right away. Then number two, your control behavior, that the animal is looking at you focused, ready for the next information to be taken in. And then we got the follow, the other very important behavior. Those three, if you have these, you can train everything else pretty easily. If you have any questions about this, leave it in the comments below. And if you have not yet, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a like and I hope to see you next time in our next little vlog about animal training. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.